Hello everyone. Welcome to the demonstration of Microsoft Graph integration with UiPath Robotic Process Automation. Microsoft Graph is a Microsoft developer platform that connects multiple services and devices and allows developers to integrate their services with Microsoft products, including Windows, Office 365, and Azure. As of now, we have version 1, that is the stable version, as well as a beta version. This video details an automated creation of UiPath and Microsoft Graph users. The need for this comes from the necessity to create users fast and effectively when required. This is especially true for a large volume of new users, like new hires to an organization. It can also be used to remove users as needed. We constructed a bot that asks for the details of the user you want to create, called the Microsoft API and creates the user based on the nature of the request. Because you need a location to assign licenses, it will auto-populate to USA. The bot will assign the standard licenses to that user, which for now consist of E3 license and Power BI. In this sample, we are using message boxes to capture the input. However, in a real-world scenario, this input can come from another system, such as an Excel sheet or even an email attachment. Let's jump into the demo. First, I'm going to navigate to my Office 365 instance and look for the user Peter Smith. We see, however, this user does not yet exist. It's here that the bot goes into action. The bot asks me the first name, which I'm going to input, Peter. Smith is, of course, the last name. I'm then prompted for a password. So I'm just going to type a random password here as an example. Note that the password has to meet your company policies. It can also be a randomly generated password if you built the code for that. After we click OK, the bot will do everything I mentioned previously using the API. This takes a bit of time since we have a delay of 30 seconds after creating the user, and it takes Office 365 some time to update the data. After this is done, we assign the location and licenses that apply to the user. As you see, we have received the message telling us our new user has been created and licenses were assigned successfully. Let's double check this for accuracy. As you can see, Peter Smith is in the system. He has a username and the licenses we desired. Let's click on him. We see he is an active user, the location is USA, and it has the licenses we asked for. The bot created and licensed the user in one step. This also creates an Active Directory user for Windows purposes. This bot was built for a cloud-based Active Directory. In a hybrid environment, we need to do some additional steps to create the user locally and then sync it to the cloud. For an API, these steps include obtaining an API token, using this token in the code, and accessing your endpoints, which in this example is the token, creating the user, assigning user location, and assigning a license. This is our integration with Microsoft Graph. This concludes the demonstration. For more information, visit smartbridge.com automation.